Okay, I'm ready to apply the uh, Angela Satin Acrylic Finisher. This piece is um, flat white and flat black finish. And what I'm going to do is uh, put a coat of that on each piece here and finish this project up. Um, I did a little sample run just a moment ago and uh, applied a thin coat of the uh, satin uh, finisher on here. Pretty pleased with the way that turned out. So now it's time to do these two pieces. I've got a few pieces of uh, wool skin cut here and make sure all the fuzz is off of it. And I'll just go ahead and start. I think on this uh, big piece here, I'll um, do the back first. Apply some uh, finisher on there. I've got the back of my uh, coaster here uh, signed and dated. And then I'll kind of go around the edge. Just hit it real quickly. And then now the top. What I want to do is uh, put a thin coat on there and just and then just get off of it and not rub on it too much. After this acrylic finisher uh, sets up and dries, it becomes uh, waterproof and as well as flexible. Okay, I'll set that up on that little piece of leather right there. Here's a coaster that I, um, I carved and tried some new things with. Uh, I've got it signed on the back. Just finished it. Signed and dated the back. On this piece, it seemed to brighten the leather up and uh, make it pop a little bit. I notice it kind of foams up like that. The instructions say not to put it on too heavy, just a thin coat. So I'll, as you can see, get this rubbed in there like that. And then I'll take this piece that doesn't have uh, any of the uh, acrylic finisher on it and kind of smooth everything out. As you can see, that kind of made that pop right there. So uh, this is my first time using the Angelus um, Satin Acrylic Finisher, and I'm quite pleased with it. I'm sure it'll have a long-lasting finish on my pieces here. Thanks for watching.